Thank you. It's the end of an era for a well-loved athletic facility near Towson. Mike Shue reports the owner needs millions to relocate. The Greenspring Racquet Club is one of the largest tennis centers on the East Coast. Janet Paulson owns the business. What does the word love mean in tennis? Yes, ma'am. Zero. Yes, zero. While she owns the business, investors own the building and property. Property adjacent to Hopkins Greenspring, which is expanding and bought the tennis center for a lot of zeros. And they're turning it into a surgical center. The building goes away. The building will go away in the next couple of months. They will they will demolish it. And that will leave a void. Thousands of school kids, some with special needs, come here to learn the game, practice, or hone skills that could last a lifetime. There's not many places around that you can house a lot of kids to play tennis and have a good environment, good safe environment to come in, learn from some of the best pros in the state. Macy just started on Coach Stitchell's tennis team. It was really fun. Here, take the racket. A beginner, but this sixth grader gives these courts top marks. You seem to do pretty well out there. Yeah. Yeah, why? How I, don't, come? I don't know. It seemed, it seemed easier because it's like so much more open. Today will be the last time she'll play here. The courts close at the end of the month. There is a plan, though, to relocate to Owings Mills. But there's one problem, money. Two million dollars or more would be fantastic. Gina, that's a lot of money. It is, but the facility itself will cost 12 million dollars. Very little of that has been raised, but Paulson says she feels like she's close to having a donor come forward. We really need to care, and we really need to have that passion. And I have a dream, and I think we can make it happen. Until then, these final students have a message for her. <laughs> Mike Shue, WJZ Eyewitness News. A going away party and kickoff to the effort to raise money will be held at the club Saturday night, April the 22nd.